Hi, my name is Jennifer Passis. I am a strategy lead at Gensler in their New York office. And this year I had the pleasure of being the jury captain for the Core 77 Design Awards in the strategy and research category. I'm Maria Silva Mora, a graphic designer and brand strategist at MUCA Design. I'm Philippe, I'm a creative and brand strategist at Exposure. This year we had submissions in both the student and professional category that came from across the globe that looked at research in sectors ranging from health and wellness all the way to urban development. Myself and the jury team looked at five key criteria when evaluating each project. Those criteria were first was the why of the project, so why the research was being done and what the research was trying to solve. The second was based on the key insights that were garnered from the research done. The third was how clear and concise the ideas were presented. The fourth was based upon the actionability and practicality of the ideas and insights that uh, were, came from the research. And the fifth was really a wow factor. So our team looked at ideas that we thought were really innovative. We looked for standouts that had really unique thinking to them and that really excited us. So we want to thank everyone that submitted and took the time and energy to uh, spend time researching and putting their projects um, in for um, evaluation. So thank you. The winner this year in the professional category is increasing kidney transplant. Our team was really impressed by all aspects of this project, everything from the methodology to how the insights were communicated and presented. Um, the project looked at a very complex subject matter, looking at kidney donations and the rate currently that kidneys that have been donated are discarded for a variety of reasons, and looking at potential solutions for these discarded kidneys to um, be used and really have a dramatic impact on individuals that are in need of a kidney transplant. The ideas were very clearly communicated. The research really went to the source, um, talking to healthcare professionals. We really appreciated how the project connected the dots. And it's a project that all of us really thought could have an immediate impact um, on in the healthcare profession and really drastically improve um, individuals' yeah. lives. So thank you so much for the submission. It was a pleasure reviewing it and evaluating it. The runner-up of the professional category is ethical studies. We particularly like the area of study because nowadays it's super easy to start a new business, but it's not that easy to consider all the factors. This quote from the video really explains it. Confront the people, places, and things that are inevitably out of the picture. The research methodology was very thorough and impressive, but also the result, not only a web platform, but talks, workshops, and other touch points. The second runner up in the professional category is Future of Stations, which proposes a new vision for the role of public transit stations in society. We are very drawn to that area of focus because it takes places that we encounter every day and maybe don't think too much about and recasts them as places that have true societal purpose. The methodology was very thorough, very rigorous, uh, defined a complex ecosystem around stations and insightfully laid out the domino effect of any one decision made. Something else that drew us to this project is its potential impact because A, it is incredibly democratic being that anyone who uses public transit would benefit from its implementation, and B, it is globally relevant because it could conceivably be applied in any or every city in the world. So the potential impact uh, is nearly limitless. In the professional category, we had four notable projects that we wanted to call out. The first two projects, um, MRI Handling System and Lost in Translation Found in Collaboration were two projects that really had excellent research methodology, very clear, concise um, insights that could be put into place immediately and really have a substantial impact. The other two projects, Escaping the Strange Loop and Illusory Materials, these projects were standouts for us because of the innovative thinking that went into them and the really future focused unique insights that came from them. So thank you to these projects for the 
level of uh, rigor that you applied to them and the insights that came from them. The winner this year in the student category is Alfred Walker for Seniors of 2030. This project focused on the design of a walker for individuals that rely on a walker for mobility. What really impressed us about this project was that the research unveiled some key issues with current walker design and the design solutions uniquely addressed each of these pain points in a really um, human way that looked at the whole individual and how having a walker and using a walker throughout their day, the type of impact um, that would have on them, um, both for their physical needs, but also their emotional needs as well. So we thought that the research and the insights were very thoughtful and in depth and quite impressive. So thank you so much for your submission and congratulations. The runner-up of the student category is Bento. We like a lot how the solution is very connected with the problem and the audience. And it's also very actionable. You could see how hikers are gonna want this and have that in the backpack immediately to be safer. The second runner-up in the student category is Ollie, which introduces new furniture for our increasingly nomadic lifestyles. We all felt this project was extremely convincing because it started with a clear, solid insight. And from there, all the pieces fall coherently into place. We have the right audience for the insight, the right solution for the audience. There's also a lot of care put into the design of the object itself. The result is extremely seductive, which is extremely important um, when we think about furniture in people's homes and such a competitive market. There is also a lot of attention put around creating a brand around the, the product so that it's not just an object, but something that makes a statement about your individual attitudes towards waste or towards your personal ecological footprint. And uh, having that layer feels like a very savvy way to connect with, again, the desired target audience. Our team wanted to recognize four notable projects in the student category. The first two being Cultural Crosspoints and Allo. We were really impressed by how both of these projects had very in-depth, um, rigorous research that was applied um, and the insights that came from both of these projects we thought were very insightful and actionable as well. So thank you to both of these projects. We were really impressed by them. And the other two projects we wanted to note were UP and NOAA. Uh, these two projects were very future focused and had very bold ideas and insights that came from them and we were really impressed by how innovative the thinking was so thank you to these two projects as well and congratulations